Last August, we evaluated our emission reduction roadmap reference case against the backdrop of no further investment in LNG and other changes in assumptions, which then resulted in a lower production output from Secunda post-2030 in order to meet our 30% greenhouse gas target. It is important to note that this reference case did not account for some of the medium-term levers we are currently progressing, like destoning, and assumed no benefit from these levers between now and 2030. We have done extensive modeling to confirm that volume restoration is underpinned by coal quality and that destoning is the enabler. The reality is that we will be implementing a destoning solution to address coal quality together with additional coal supply options to maximize our production rates from Secunda between now and 2030. With these medium-term levers in place, the potential step down in production is less significant at pr approximately 7 million tons to achieve a 30% GHG reduction. It goes without saying that the Secunda value chain must be profitable and optimized for cost and capex commensurate to a production volume output at this level. However, there are several value unlock levers to be progressed beyond 2030, which could uplift production to higher levels. Sourcing transition gas and sustainable sources of carbon is a key lever to restore production volumes, but it is not needed to achieve a 30% greenhouse gas reduction. Coal quality remains important, as well as the sourcing of alternative affordable feedstock, such as biomass and green hydrogen. More renewables integration, energy efficiency, and green steam are all additional levers which can unlock more volume depending on the market demand for fuels in later years.